Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to install outside lighting on any part of your house. It's very simple. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be showing you how to install it outside of my garage door. Now, if you've been uh, tuning in with my past episodes, I just got done installing my sidings and just got done painting it. So now it's time to install the outside lighting. I'll leave the link down below where I got this product so that you can try it out for yourself. And if you're looking for a more modern look um, to accent your house, this will probably be the best choice. So with that being said, uh, let me start off the video and let's get start installing. Now again, there's two parts of this video. On the very first part, where I'm gonna be showing you how I wired it up from the sidings to the attic to the main power source, which is the switch. Now I'm not a certified electrician, so do this with caution. Always uh, be safe and always be aware whenever you're working with any electrical equipment and any electric anything that has to do with electricity. Always take it with caution. Now, if you're not confident with working with electricity, I advise you that you look into hiring a uh, certified electrician around your area so that you can do this job properly. And everything that I do on this video electrical wise is for reference use only. If you have any suggestions to how I could wire it better, um, let me know in the comment section down below. So once again, guys, I'm just a home DIYer. So any suggestions that you guys have, any advice, tips, I'm always willing to learn and listen to any of your comments. So guys, before working with any electrical inside your home, make sure that you turn off the main power switch inside your circuit breaker. So the wire style I'll be using is the 12-2 um, Type NM Bravo. I got 100 feet, that should be enough for me to run it through my attic and to the switch. Go down below, click the link, and you'll find all the stuff that I'll be using for this video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to feed this wire through here up to that hole to the attic right through here just like that I'll be pulling just enough wire so that this wire will meet up all the way to the middle of the center line of this attic so it will meet with the other wire on the other side and what I'll be using to staple it down is this and M staples 9 16th of an inch. So I'm only going to be doing about every two feet or so. Hammer it down. Just be very careful. You don't want to do it too much. You don't want it to pinch the wire. The ideal is 66 to 72 inches height. So in this case, I want to put it around 72, which is 6 feet. And that's where I'll be placing my J-Box for the outside lighting. So I'm going to be using some wire snips to cut this off. I'm going to be leaving. So when you insert it to the J-Box, you want to leave at least 6 inches from inside the J-Box. So you have enough to connect it to the outside lighting. So I already measured it and I'm going to cut it right here. Here's the wire that's going from under there from the outside. Now we're gonna do the other side. Now I already started running the wire over there, so we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start putting these nails and tack it. I'm trying to put the weight outside because I don't want to go crashing through the drywall. As you can tell this this is my crawl space from above. Make sure that you keep the wiring nice and neat right there feeding off to the middle and the other side as well going meeting up in the middle and here's actually my main power source this wire which this and this wire will connect to that power source into a J box to a switch
over there is where the connections are so we're gonna run a wire all the way through here and there's a switch on the left side of the house that we'll be getting into there you have it I installed the J box here there you have it fed all the wires through here's where the power is going to be coming from again I am not an electrician guys if you are uncomfortable about doing this type of work please call an electrician to do this for you so there you have it guys I combined the black to the black white to the white ground to ground so all the wires are in there now we're gonna close it up all right what I'm doing now is I'm putting the first layer I got the wire all ready to go so I'm gonna put the first layer of OSB cut it to length and I measured out the hole that's where I'm gonna put my J box right here Just like that. Now I'm gonna put one more layer over. Inside layer all done with OSB. You can tell that both are perfectly even on each side. Now we're gonna put the final siding board, the face. So that's what it looks like, pretty simple. The update of the sightings. So guys, before working with any electrical inside your home, make sure that you turn off the main power switch inside your circuit breaker. So the tools that you need for this project, obviously the two lights that you're gonna use. I got some wire strippers and also this is equipped with a cutting. Um, it also cuts. I got some pliers just in case and I got some wet, um, caulking so that we can put it around the box the plastic electrical box for weather sealing um, power drill and also don't forget about your box knife just installed this temporarily so this is the um, kind that I got now this is the expandable ones now what's so cool about this J-Box style is that it, ha it comes with these screws. Now what happens is after you put this through the wall and if you screw it on like this, it actually locks in place from the inside just like that. So that, see that? The flap goes up and it locks it in place. But it's pretty much on the other ones as well. See that? Locks in place just like that. But this should be enough to work with now it's always better to have more than not having enough because we can always cut down on the excess now after we insert the wire through this box i'm gonna seal it off with some caulking so we can make it waterproof
So there you have it after you installed it put a level on top just to make sure nice and leveled all right now that we got everything wired up let's turn on back the power and see how it goes turn on the switch and let's see how it turns on So once again friends, thank you so much for tuning once again to Fix This House. If you enjoyed and found this video helpful, please hit that like button to support the channel and please press that subscribe button so that you can always be in tune with what's going on with the projects around my house. Also if you're very interested on this product and you like this product, I'll leave the link down below so you can click on it and you can try it for yourself. Again this will help you out on on your electricity because it is LED and it's very energy efficient. Okay, thank you guys once again. I'll see you on to the next video.